I'd say there were six other cases in which just two people were found dead. Mom didn't believe Kilua, so that was another pair. Victims of our mother's curiosity. Even after she knew, she sacrificed two more pairs to confirm exactly how the rules worked. Then, Miluki exchanged the lives of two more innocent tourists to get his hands on some cheap toys. In between those were two massacres. As far as we know, 13 confirmed deaths in the first, and 67 in the second. Kilua will make a wish to Aluka, asking for Gon to be healed. Now, the wish itself won't be a problem, not as long as he lets someone else fulfill the request. We'd be free and clear. But, knowing Kilua, he'll probably do the opposite. The leader of the monsters was powerful enough to force Netero to use the Rose. And that tells me something important. In order to defeat one of its subordinates, Gon must have made a contract with conditions worse than death. A wish to reverse something of that nature would far exceed the power of money and medical science. It will probably be granted. Kilua will do all he can to fulfill Aluka's demands. He won't be able to meet Aluka's impossible demands. Still, he'll try his best and fail halfway to his goal. Mission failure, huh? So the most beloved and the most time spent together? Any way you slice it, Gon will surely die. <laughs> huh? Huh? Wait, am I wrong? Earlier, when you said that both were going to die, you didn't mean Kilua and Gon, but Kilua and yourself. Yes, you are correct. Hmm. I'll admit I have my issues, but you are the worst, do you know that? The point being, if things go horribly wrong, it won't just be Gon, Kilua, and me. Every member of the Zoldic clan will die. I suspect the casualties of this wish will be in the tens of thousands. You'll probably die too. That was why I looked at you funny before. <sighs> this is not good. <laughs> <laughs>